The weird plant that we're going to be talking about today in the greenhouse is this plant next to me. This is the buttered popcorn plant, Seta dinamobitraea. It's a botanical name. And the common name of popcorn bush comes from the fact that when you rubber crush the foliage, it smells like buttered popcorn. So this plant is in the Fabaceae or bean family. Um, so same family as beans and peas and other stuff like that that most people have heard of. Most of those plants don't have scented foliage. This is one of the exceptions in that the foliage smells like buttered popcorn. And in general, when a plant has a scented foliage, it's going to be to deter herbivory. So in general, herbivores don't like to eat strongly scented plants. So but this plant, by having these volatile chemicals, these aromatic compounds, keeps things away from eating it. Typically in the wild, you'd find this growing in open scrublands or brush of eastern and central Africa. Um, so plains, very sunny, relatively dry areas. So if you're into native plants and have been looking at native plants in the southeast Pennsylvania, you may have seen a plant out in the wild that looks very similar to this. That's because we do have a native species, Senna marylandica, the American Senna. So it's a different species, but has the similar characteristics in terms of leaf structure and flower structure. Unfortunately, our native one does not smell like popcorn. So because this plant is in the Fabaceae or bean family, one of the characteristics of that family is that they're able to take atmospheric nitrogen and via a symbiotic relationship with bacteria nodules on their roots, convert that into a form that plants can use. This enables plants in this family to thrive in very low nutrient areas because they're basically making their own fertilizer out of nitrogen from the air. So this plant will produce yellow and black flowers in the summer. They're on tall spikes or panicles above the top of the plant and they're typically going to be pollinated by bees and butterflies. In the greenhouse, this plant rarely flowers. We also cut it back fairly regularly. It is a very fast growing species. It can grow up to four or five feet in a year. So if you are growing a house plant, you're going to be cutting it back quite a bit. Um, if it ever did flower and if you wanted to get seed off of it, it would need to be there, be outside where it could get pollinated by natural insects, or you could use a Q-tip or a paintbrush to hand pollinate to be able to get seed off of this plant. So yeah, this is a fairly common house plant. You can find it for sale at specialty growers and house plant places. Coming from Central and Eastern Africa, it does like a lot of sunlight. That's going to be probably the limiting factor for being able to grow it inside. That said, it makes a really good plant that you can put outside in your patio for the summer, let it grow out in the full sun, and then cut it back because it does grow so fast. Cut it back in the fall, bring it inside, and keep it in a warm, sunny window. Um, it might lose its leaves, might drop a lot of leaves during the winter, but when you put it back outside for the summer, it'll perk back up.